What's going on landscapers and outdoor go-getters? We are back at the shop today at Winder Outdoor Power and we are working on a little rear engine riding mower. We're going to be putting on a new deck belt. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up if it helped you out, and if you're working on a different kind of mower or a small engine and you're having some issues, put a comment down in the comment section. Perhaps we can help you out there. So let's get to it. All right, so once you get your pin removed and the cable unhooked from this little bracket, this is what it should look like. Drops down about three inches or so and it opens this up enough to be able to work in here a little bit more comfortable. So the next thing we're gonna do is get a, a socket to remove these. I believe there's one here, one here, and one on the other side, so there should be three. And they should be three eighths size sockets. Um, so or a wrench whatever you got at home so we're gonna grab a tool we're gonna remove these three screws and take off this belt cover all right so we have our tool right here we're gonna take these little screws out grab them out of the way and then we'll go on our other side and get the last one which is right here all right now that we got the three screws that hold the belt cover on we're gonna remove the cover simply pick it up and move it out of the way and then that's gonna open up all the belt area and we will now do the last step necessary to get this belt out all right, so the last thing we're gonna need to do here, guys and girls, if you're working on your mower, is right here, I'm trying to point at it, the belt's kinda in the way, but there's a little stud slash, they call it a belt guide, right here, and it's a 3 8 head also, so the same socket or wrench will work. You need to remove this, and it, it threads into this bracket, so we're gonna remove that uh, little bolt and that will let this belt um, come off of this backside idler pulley. And then the rest of it's pretty much just fishing the belt out. So really the only thing left holding it on is gonna be this little belt guide. So we're gonna get that removed real quick and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, since it's a little tight right here, we're actually gonna use a gear wrench, um, but any wrench will work. And you can see right here, it goes in from the bottom and we're just gonna unscrew this thing and completely remove it. All right, now that we got the hardware removed, now we're gonna pop off this belt and you're gonna just kinda raise up the deck with one hand a little bit and walk the belt off the middle spindle and then back here at the engine you're just going to pull it off and push it forward and that is the old belt removed. Now for the new belt, we're going to do the same thing. You're going to start it through that belt guide, put it around the engine pulley and then put it around the spindle and then we're going to get the little belt guide, which is pretty much a bolt that we removed from this idler pulley assembly. And you're going to make sure the belt is on the other side of it. So the belt should be between this bolt and the pulley. And then we're just going to thread it back into the bracket here.
and get our 3 8 wrench again. Tighten that up. And then we're going to get our belt cover. We're going to put our belt cover back on real quick. And that's going to be our three, three eighths little screws that we took out. Should be two. There's one on each side and then one right dead in the center on the front of the deck. We're going to put our last bolt, our last screw over here on the discharge side. get our tool tighten that up and then go over on the other side and tighten the other two now the last thing we got to do is put our deck back up here on our hanger and then also this little metal bar this is for our blade belt idler system one you want to make sure that this is free floating it should have some spring tension to it and move freely it needs to sit inside this bracket right here where this deck hanger is so you want to make sure that you get that bar right where it needs to go sits just like in there. We're going to get our washer and our clip. Pop our clip back in. And finally, our blade cable goes back right here. And this guy was actually missing the hitch pin or hair pin or whatever you want to call it that goes in here. So we're going to put one in it real quick. And here's the missing clip that he was missing. So there we go. That way the cable don't pop out. So that's it. Pretty easy belt install for the 30 inch Craftsman mowers and the Troy belts and the MTDs and the Cub Cadets. They're basically all the same. So if it's a 30 inch rear engine riding mower, that is the deck belt procedure to remove the old belt, put the new belt on. Super simple. Pretty much do it with just a couple tools at home. Um, not much to it at all. So hopefully the video helped you guys out. Stay tuned for more videos to come as we work on all kinds of equipment here at Winder Outdoor Power. Again, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if the video helped you out. Also, put a comment down below what you think and or if you're working on something yourself, put a comment down there. Perhaps we can help you out in the comment section. So until next time, stay safe out there. We'll see you.